What you doing other nerds, I'm the AC and usually I would be talking about the 100 right now but the 100 is on a break until about August 5th they said. So I thought this would be a great time to talk about whether or not there should be a prequel series. Now there's been talk that there is going to be one and they kind of did a whole backdoor pilot with the episode Anaconda which I already made a video about so I'm not going to go into the specifics of what happens in that episode. I'm going to just kind of speculate on what a sequel could mean, whether it be best to actually have it or not, whether it will work better as a show or a movie or a book. There's a lot I've been thinking about on where this could go and there's potential, there is. But just thinking about what was in that backdoor pilot, I'm not so sure it's even worth it. So from what we saw from the pilot, we saw Bill uh, had this whole secret Second Dawn organization, um, brings his family in to the bunker that you see in the hundred where Octavia and one crew was in. And it looks like it's going to follow his daughter Callie and after they get out of that bunker the problem is the whole episode seemed like a second thought it seemed like they knew how the hundred should have ended but then was like what if we just try to clear things up with this weird thing what if we try to connect it back to the beginning and it I don't think it worked it's too weird it has too many questions and you would think having a series to fix those questions would be good. I think it would be really tough to fix the questions they created, fix the problems, the plot holes. I feel like they just dug a grave and they're trying to live in it, not realizing they're about to get buried. And just so much crap. So... One of the first things I was thinking of is, okay, this looks like it's going to follow, like I said, Callie, his daughter, uh, and it's kind of going to echo The 100 as a series altogether. It'll be Callie leading a bunch of young people going back up onto Earth, um, but I think it's going to be even worse than when Clark and the other 100 came down the first time. Not only that, there's going to be like a whole nother base team that's going to be in the bunker. It's supposed to be his son, Kelly's brother, but then it gets weird too because Bill leads a whole group of people into the anomaly, goes off to another planet, and eventually they're going to have to come back, otherwise what's, what's going to be the conflict, at least in the first season? Is it just going to be them trying to survive? I mean, in the first season of The 100, we saw The 100 group having to deal with the grounders. They didn't even like spent a lot of time by themselves. There was conflict right at the end of the first episode. What's going to happen with this? Are there going to be more people, another group they're going to have to deal with? There's also Mountain Weather that is still out there that was able to survive those whole 97 years. What are they going to do with that? And yeah, I feel like it's just going to echo the original 100 and then this prequel. And that would be cool it's just, the 100 already is kind of echoing itself a bit. You see in like season 5 when the prisoners come down back to Earth, that was kind of an echo of, you know, more people coming to Earth and stuff where this time the 100's group, one crew, they're the grounders now. It's just flipped the echo. And now they're going back to another planet. They're already kind of doing this whole thing. So prequel, mimicking that whole thing. I don't, I don't know if it'll work. But there are a lot of questions. Like, how did you get this group from a bunker to make this whole civilization of multiple crews and this whole network? And you get to see Callie. She has uh, Allie's chip. Well, I guess it's not Allie. It's Becca's chip. You see that they're turning night blood. You can kind of piece together what happens. And even though I'm the one that's all about the venture, not the destination, I can kind of see what the venture of this is going to be. Also, I don't know if I need a whole series for it. I really don't. And yeah, it could be cool. It could be just as dark as the original series. 
I don't think it needs to be a series though. Maybe a movie. I've been thinking about this. Maybe one big movie could kind of just encapsulate everything that you would need to know. But that's 97 years. And looking at some of the interviews with what the prequel could be, they're also talking about what's going on in the art. Oh yeah, there was whole 97 years of that going on. They're talking about first season will focus mainly on the ground, second season will explore more on art, and it's... I don't know. It's, unless there's some other big event that they expect to happen, I don't, I don't even know if a movie could capture all of that unless they could find one thing to focus on. And if you know me, if you heard me talk about anything, I think movies should be no less than two hours, and I love a good three hour movie. So it could be huge, but 97 years in a three hour movie, I don't know. And a book, I don't know if a book would be the right answer. Maybe it could be. I think a book may be the best option, but comparing the show to the books, the show went way past what the books did, and it was kind of, it's pretty much almost completely different. No, it's pretty much completely different than what the books had in the show, so. I don't know. I feel like a book prequel would be the best medium for me to be able to take in this whole story. I would have to separate it from the previous books and the rest of the show, but I think that would be the best way for me personally to enjoy it. You could do a whole 97 years. You could do a whole another series for those 97 years in book form. I think that would be the best thing. Because I don't... I just can't see a show working. They could do a whole Chronicles thing where they just show different big moments within those 97 years. Like, however, maybe Callie getting the chip in and then her starting spreading the language, gaining control. That It'll take a long time to build that. They must meet other survivors. They must have some kind of conflict with Mount Weather. But then there's this whole thing of they seem to not really know much about Mount Weather. For some reason, they seem to not know anything about the anomaly or the bunkers. It's like there is a complete history that just got erased and it makes no sense, especially when they have a chip with all the commanders on it that would remember all that history. It makes absolutely no sense. There's just too many flaws. There's too many flaws for there to be a prequel. As cool and as much as I want to know what happened, the show went on for seven seasons. There was like four books. Let it let it in. Don't dig this any further. It had a good run. Maybe a little too long. If I've kind of been loving hating this last season, it has its moments. It's kind of just weird sometimes. And I'm like, eh. And then I'm like, ah. But prequel? I'm going to say nay. No prequel. Let the show rest. <laughs> Do something else. Okay, so there you go. That's my verdict. But if you disagree, let me know. Go ahead and type something down in the comments. I'll debate it with you. Maybe you can change my mind. Who knows? But if you liked what I had to say, go ahead and like this video. If you want to see me talk more about The Hunter, especially when it comes back on, and all kinds of other shows or whatever, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can see why I do all that. But until next time, I'm DC. Thank you for watching, and bye.